Hello everybody, Angie Fenimore here, and this is Fat Chat with my writing coach. Okay, so I'm addicted to the Great British Baking Show. I mean, like, I've watched an entire season in one night now, before, yeah, truth. And, you know, then I'm like hauling my iPad into the kitchen and I'm making this extraordinary brioche, chocolate cherry brioche in the middle of the night right? I just can't help myself. So if you watch the show, here's what you're going to notice is that um, Paul and Mary, they say it over and over again, watch your flavors. Okay. You've got to make sure that your flavors are good. That, you know, above all, it's about the flavors tasting right, the bake being good. It's not burnt. It's not underproved, overproved, whatever it is. Whether you're making a short crust or a Genoese, or a sponge, or whatever you're making, okay? A soda bread, or a yeast bread. It's all about that structure, okay? And this is true for everything, by the way. It's all about the structure. In a relationship, what makes a relationship work? The structure, you know, the agreements. You can weather anything if you really have a solid structure. Same thing for your writing, okay? You've got to manage that the structure is solid. And then you add your flavors and then you can decorate it and make it beautiful. But if you, you know, don't handle the basics, making sure that that story is built inside of a techno technologically sound structure, um, you know, you're gonna end up with a soupy sauce in the middle or a soggy bottom. That's right, okay. All right, so your challenge today is to be a student. You know, if you watch the show, notice who gets voted off. I almost think they cast certain people at the beginning so that we don't bond with them because they're gonna go early on, so that we'll bond with the core cast, right? Um, so you want to actually be a student. The ones that come in thinking they know it all, they're gone, right? You've got to learn you'll notice that the contestants, they say thank you. And that, you know, Paul and Mary or whoever's, you know, judging, they always give, you know, oh, that's a lovely sponge. And, you know, but your, flav your flavors are all wrong. They're gonna give you the whole thing. Well, readers do the same thing, by the way. Okay, they don't hold back. And agents, you know, they'll take a bite and that's it. You know, they're not gonna finish that slice. Okay, if you didn't land it. Okay, so your challenge tonight is to, to be a chef. Think like a chef. Think like a baker. Be inquisitive AF. Ciao for now.